Hello and welcome to my first Blender tutorial. My name is Kai and I'm working as a game developer using Unity Game Engine, Blender, Xcode and a lot more. In this video I'm going to show you how to copy several keyframes from an animation and paste them all at once as XFlip poses. It means produce just a mirror of the existing action. I got this first part of a running cycle here and if I click flip animation, everything is mirrored and we got all existing keyframes overwritten by the mirrored version. Well, this is useful if you want to flip the whole action, but in other cases you want to append the mirrored keyframes to the existing ones and create a complete run cycle, for example. Therefore, we got this checkbox append mode. If you click it, you got two added fields, start frame and end frame. End frame in this case is 15, so we enter 15. And if we press flip animation now, all new keyframes are appended to the existing action. And we completed our run cycle. Very cool. Now, how to get the add-on? and use it. You can download it from our website. This is co.de sco.de. There you go to the download section and download flipanimation.zip and install it. That's it for the first part, for the quick start of this video. Now in the second part I like to give you some more details and step-by-step -step instructions and hints on troubleshooting. First of all, there's a development blog post and uh, there you can find an article about this with some more information. Anyway, we download the plugin, extract it, I've done this before as you can see in my download folder. Back in Blender we go to File, User Preferences and press Install Add-on to my download folder. Flip Animation, install it. Don't forget to check it that it's activated. So now now you see this flip animation icon. Let's start with a few words about how flip animation is implemented. Basically, it iterates over all frames and collects some information about the bones that have uh, key sets defined. In this case, for example, we got the foot, the right foot, and the message bone. So, the right foot will be selected internally and the message bone. And then two Blender operators are called. The first one is copy pose and the second one is paste axe flip pose. So all information from the right foot, location and rotation, will be transferred to the left foot and a new keyframe is inserted for the left foot. The original frame stays and will be cleaned up later. This has some implications on how we use the plugin. First of it is uh, we need the recording button for automatic keyframe insertion activated. If we don't have this checked, flip animation refuses to work and throws a warning. So we will have that checked. The next one is the button right of it. It's the same. It says use the active key set, which is defined over there. This one has to be activated as well. Now the keying set itself. If we take a look at the keying information on, within this action, we see that we got location and rotation information. That means the active keying set used for inserting keyframes must consider this. This is done either by using available or by location and rotation. If we have chosen the wrong keying set, like location for example, and we execute flip animation, the result is a little bit funny. 
we look right here, no rotation information is copied to the target frames. So we won't do it that way. We always have available or lock rod or whatever you need in your animation. Let's look at append mode as next. We check the box append mode. First thing good to know is start frame and end frame have to be defined within the range given by the action. That means in this case between 1 and 15. Go below and flip animation refuses to work. So we got back this. The next thing you should know is existing frames will be overwritten. Let's define some frames here for this message bone. And now we run flip animation. And as you see, all of our previously existing keyframes are overwritten. The last thing to say is almost obvious. Flip animation relies on Blender's bone naming convention. That means if you got a footik.r, you need a footik.l in order to be detected as the opposite bone. Okay, that's it. I hope you find this tutorial useful and I appreciate your feedback in the comment section of the blog post or on YouTube. Thanks for watching.